In MATLAB or Python snippets that does PCA from scratch, you will often see that it calls a function called SVD that refers to the singular value decomposition. And in this video, I just quickly want to explain the relationship of uh, the SVD with PCA and how we can use um, the SVD to actually get to the projection vectors um, needed for PCA. So singular value decomposition, if you go on Wikipedia, that's what I did. Um, you will see that it's a generalization kind of of, um, of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So specifically, it's a, a decomposition method that takes uh, one matrix X and decomposes it into three other uh, matrices, which has some useful properties. So you've got the matrix U, the matrix S, and the matrix uh, V transpose. Um, Normally what happens is we've got X and X would be a matrix like, like this where you have uh, N rows and D columns. And then that matrix can be decomposed into a U that would be N by N multiplied by a matrix S which will be uh, N by D. And then lastly you multiply this with the matrix V which is D by D. Okay, and the transpose of V is also D by D. And what singular value decomposition kicks out is um, this U will be a orthonormal, uh, will be a matrix with orthonormal columns. That means that if I take the transpose of U and multiply it with itself, then I get the identity matrix. Okay. Um, v is a, a matrix where both the rows and the columns are orthonormal. That means that if I take V transpose and multiply that with V, I get the identity matrix. Um, or if I take V and multiply it with its transpose, then I again get the identity matrix. I need a little bar there. The matrix S here uh, has a bunch of zeros at the bottom. Okay, and then uh, here along this kind of upper part, this D by D part, you will have a bunch of values here on the on the diagonal of that part. These values will be zero, these values will be zero. And the stuff on the diagonal here, that's called the singular values. Okay, so this is a method you, I don't know, you call MATLAB or Python, and you ask, give me the singular value decomposition, and it kicks out these matrices. I should note that it's normally very fast to do that because um, SVD pops up quite a lot. So the engineers and the scientists that worked on MATLAB and, and on Python, they figured out ways to do the SVD uh, very, um, very efficiently. Okay, so why am I telling you all of this and what does this have to do with PCA? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the SVD of the design matrix. Just very quickly again, the SVD is for arbitrary um, matrices, right? It doesn't need to be a design matrix. But what we're going to do is we're going to take all of our items, all of our items, and we're going to stack them along the uh, rows of X, right? From a previous video, you will remember that, that that is called the design matrix. We stack all of the data. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the SVD of the design matrix X. So that means that X gets um, decomposed into these three matrices, the U matrix, the S matrix, and the V matrix. And now what I will do is, I will then just look at what happens if I take X, transpose, and multiply that with X again, okay? And in a second, it will become clear why I'm doing that. So let's do that. So X transpose, if I'm writing it in its transposed form, I just flip the order there and take the transpose of each of the matrices. So I get V is transpose U transpose multiplied by U S V transpose. And then because U is orthonormal, that means that this inner um, bit here, and that's just the identity matrix. So I can write this out as V S transpose S V transpose. Okay, and what I will do is I will write that even shorter. So I will write this as V, D, V, transpose. And um, D here is, so D, which is obviously S, uh, transpose S. That matrix is just a diagonal matrix with the squares of the singular values. Okay, 
perfect. So why did we do all of this? Um, let's take this equation, that be the result we're getting here. So x transpose x is equal to v d v transpose. Okay, and what I will do is I will right multiply with v. Okay, so I will multiply um, on this side with v, and that will just give us the identity. And I will multiply with v on this side as well. Okay, and you'll see why I do this. Uh, okay, maybe it's still not making sense, and maybe it's not obvious what's happening here. But actually, this equation is an equation that summarizes the eigenvector um, eigenvalue equation. So let's just unpack that a little bit. Let's say this is the matrix x transpose times x. It's a d by d matrix. And we multiply this with the matrix V, which is also a d by d matrix. And this is equal to, according to this equation, it will be the same. We've got V times a diagonal matrix. So this diagonal matrix here only has elements on, on the diagonal, and the rest is zero. So it will be zero and zero. This matrix V will actually be the eigenvectors of X transpose and times X. So you will actually have a V1 here, okay, up to uh, VD, sitting like that, okay. Same here, you've got V1 up to VD, okay. And on the diagonal of the D matrix, we would have lambda 1, lambda 2, dunk, 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 lambda D. And these V vectors, these are the eigenvectors. And these lambdas here, the squared singular values of X transpose um, times X, those are just the eigenvalues. So why is this useful at all? It's because X transpose times X is actually quite special. Because if you look at the sample covariance matrix of my data, then that is just equal to you can write that out a little bit more concisely by just writing the design matrix transpose times the design matrix. Okay. Now let's just box that up and see what fudge I'm trying to tell you. Okay. So what you can see here is that this X transpose X thing that we have here is actually just a scaled version of the sample covariance matrix. Eigenvectors, you, you basically get the same eigenvector eigenvalue pairs if you scale on both sides. So that doesn't change anything. So how does this help us with PCA? Remember that to get the projection vectors for PCA, we actually calculate the eigenvalue eigenvector pairs for the sample covariance matrix. Okay, And this means that we can actually get all of the eigenvectors, all of the eigenvalues by just doing the SVD of the sample covariance matrix. So we get all of them just in one go with one um, MATLAB or Python call. And that's why the SVD is often used with PCA because we get all of the possible eigenvectors, all of the possible eigenvalue um, pairs with just one call. Normally it's, it's pretty nice because Python will actually order the eigenvalues for you from, um, from largest to smallest, okay? And then you can just decide how many eigenvectors do I keep in my V matrix, right? If I want to project um, down to two dimensions, then I will keep the first two vectors here. If I want to project down to five dimensions, then I keep the first five vectors here. Um, so it's very convenient and also uh, normally relatively fast. So that's a quick overview of the relationship between um, PCA and the SVD. There is actually a deeper connection between them and I encourage you um, if you're interested in that type of thing to for example look at the uh, the machine learning textbook by Kevin Murphy.